Hey guys, this is Nathan. Today we're looking at Photoscape X versus Lightroom. Looking at the quality of the edits that you're able to produce with these two softwares. And of course, uh, because Lightroom is normally sold along with Photoshop and Lightroom Classic, there's definitely a lot that you're able to do that we aren't able to necessarily cover in today's video, but we definitely can make this a series if you would like me to. Um, nonetheless, we have like Photoscape X here, and then we have Lightroom here. Uh, so we'll be doing Alt Tab in between the two softwares today. Uh, but we're going to work on the exact same image that I took uh, this past fall. And it's an image of a dandelion that has a bee in there. And you got grass and you got leaves in the back because it was fall. You got some leaves that had just fallen. And this image uh, that I took ended up being a bit more blue, a bit more of a, a lighter tone than I personally would have wanted. Um, and yes, it's in the shade, but I'm like, I think there's ways we could possibly make this look a bit better. And we're going to see what kind of quality we can get between the two. Uh, this request was sent in from someone who is on the Photoscape X Facebook group. He's wondering, you know, what would be, you know, the difference in quality. Uh, let me first start with something that's really simple. And I just want to get this out of the way that there is kind of a imposter syndrome that you might get from saying, man, I use a free piece of software. I bet the edits aren't as good as if I had uh, Lightroom or Photoshop. Well, the challenge is, you know, if you have a really great photo and you take it into a free editor and you edit it well, you're going to get a great photo at the end. If you take a bad photo and you put it into Lightroom or Photoshop, you're probably not going to get a great photo at the end. You might get an improved photo or something like that, but it's what you put in is most likely what you're going to get out. So garbage in, garbage out, um, quality in, quality out. It's just that the enhancing um, might be easier or more straightforward or might be better in a paid piece of software because you do get what you pay for. Um, but yes, you do need the quality um, quality content to begin with. So uh, whether it's upgrading your gear or upgrading you know yourself by learning things like, oh, when would be a better time to take this image? Oh, what kind of lighting would have worked better in this situation? How could I have maybe adjusted things in the shot to make it look more appealing. There's a lot in there, so don't put everything on your editor to fix what you have. Uh, so uh, let's look at this. So I got the wrong, wrong color balance here. Uh, I need to change it. Uh, but for something like um, doing this in Photoscape, I'm like, oh yeah, this is pretty straightforward. You know, I'm just gonna go into color and I'm gonna adjust it. And in Lightroom, it's pretty similar as well. You're over here to the edit tab and you're able to go and say oh yeah here's the uh, temperature and here's the tint vibrant saturation yeah I'll be able to get that color balance where it needs to be there's nothing really great in here to do that auto white balance so we'll have to kind of do it by eye that's why it's important to have a monitor that is fairly color accurate um, if you have one that's awesome if not you know just be careful with it because you might edit something on your laptop or your desktop then you might look at it on your phone later and you're like, whoa, that's way more saturated or that's really, you know, a different look than I was uh, trying to do, uh, to approach because that's colors are a very interesting thing and there's uh, definitely a lot of variations there. So um, let's go in Photoscape X. Um, we can go and make these edits um, as well as one other thing. I think I'm kind of just like rambling on this intro because um, stuff like crop like if you're going to crop something it's just taking out pixels like if you have a you know professional high grade photo editing software versus a super cheap software and you're cropping there's going to be almost no difference at all because all you're doing is cutting pixels out but when it gets into more of the detail stuff more of the subjective stuff that's when it gets interesting so um, let's go with photoscape x we're going to hop over here lightroom uh, I mean, over the color tab. Then I'm going to slide over this temperature. And I can slide this over to kind of get to where I want it to be. Something where it's a warmer tone, where I feel that the dandelion is better portrayed. And you have these leaves back here. You know, these are dead leaves that fell off a tree. I'm like, I want to get that brown back in there. Um, and I think that makes it look a lot better. You can also mess with the tint. If you feel like there's some uh, tint, that might be helpful as well. 
um, I ended up not even moving it there um, as far as I was like, where is the good spot? Oh, that looks good. It's at zero. No change there. Uh, but it goes from this, which looks pale. Uh, you know, it really shows off this green in the grass and stuff. But this looks a whole lot more real to life. And I like it a whole lot more. So that looks great. Um, I think that looks good. Uh, you could maybe look around at the saturation. If that might be helpful. If you take stuff away from the saturation here, you really do cut out a lot more of the image really quickly uh, contrast wow <laughs> you don't want to bump it too much um, yeah no I think I might just leave it right where it's at unless it's just a really low number it's like maybe a two or something like that but yeah keeping it pretty simple there a nice fairly simple edit to get that done now if we were to hop over to Lightroom to do this this is interesting because uh, we're gonna let's see we're gonna zoom in on here just a little bit more okay so we got that zoomed in now we're gonna hop over here go down to temperature just like what we had instead of sliding it to the left uh, we're gonna slide it to the right because that's gonna bring us those warmer tones and we can slide it and what's really interesting here is as I'm sliding just the temperature slider you know if I bump the temperature slider all the way to the edge Look at how bright this image is and how bright everything has become. Now, if I go back to Photoscape X here, it's really interesting because let's say I reset the whole thing, it's back to normal, and I just slide this temperature slider all the way to the side. You end up with a much warmer image. You end up with one that is, um, in my opinion, more usable at the end of the day because the other one just looks like it brought out so much, so bright. Uh, it just is really bright and that's because these sliders are subjective you know a plus 100 on Lightroom versus here where it's a you know 3000 rating there you know it's going to be different and that's because they take different approaches to editing the, Im the images and that's why even when you're like hey I've been using photo editing software forever it still could be something where there's a learning curve with a new piece of software because hey, their sliders may work a little differently and they may touch on certain things um, in a better way. And that's because you know it's not a direct science and not a direct math. Uh, in some of these cases, it's more subjective to say, hey, how do we want our temperature slider to work? And if you think about it, Photoscape X, they're like, cool, we got a temperature slider and it works pretty well. That's, that's awesome. Versus uh, Lightroom and Photoshop, um, they're looking at it saying, hey, we basically invented these sliders. We are the kings of this uh, type of software. And you're going to be getting sliders that work incredibly well um, from the perspective of high quality ones that are going to work really good. But in this case, if you didn't have a critical eye and you just said, hey, I'm just going to throw the temperature slider, you're going to get very different results here. Um, and in this case, you're going to have to drop this down a bit more to get to a more usable state. Um, and then it's something where the tint, this actually ends up being a bit more helpful to get that warmer tone in there. So we could back this up to like a 30 and then slide this around. Mm -hmm. And I still think it brightens it up a little too much. Uh, honestly, whoopsie, hmm. let me back this up, but it's starting to look a bit more normal. It's only where, hey, I had to throw the temperature slider a bit, but then the tint was actually really crucial as well to get that to where it should be. Uh, yeah, so it's very interesting how these sliders work and how they're slightly different no matter how much you've maybe used the softwares before. The sliders are gonna be different between the different softwares. So that's where you could look at the quality of it and say, hey, you know, if you're making slides and adjustments and things, there's going to be a difference there. Um, and yeah, uh, if we look back at this, I'm like, oh, wow, uh, this one is kind of a way too, the temperature's there, where does it need to be? I think, okay, so you end up with that better color, better tone, definitely an improvement on what the original was. And over here on Lightroom, it definitely is an improvement uh, from what the original was. Uh, let's see, 
I forget, what is the what is the image here we go when you look at the original versus what we have now definitely see there is that improvement where it's not as blue so we have that um but yeah i would love for you guys to give me other specific examples of what you would like to see in these different edits because there's always going to be different ways if you're at like a brush heel tool and you're trying to brush out like the b um you know you zoom in in this case it's going to be a little silly uh, if i'm on the brush can i move this <laughs> without moving the brush and everything i actually have to hop back here and move it and that's silly there's got to be a better way all right so and go over here take that b and then it takes it from another section of the image and honestly it looks really really solid that edit there you know it took it out it doesn't look terrible in there um and for something like lightroom or for photoscape x you can do the same thing zoom in spot heal it's going to be a little different how it all works but it still can do a really good job and you end up with a very similar uh, result. So it's something where uh, there might be a lot more to dive into to show you, you know, the ins and outs of what could be better, what might not be as good. Uh, but with something like uh, Photoshop and Lightroom, if you are willing to learn how to use the software and you're willing to become a student and to become well-versed in this, and be willing to pay, you know, the 10 or $15 a month for the software, you're going to end up with some really incredible tools at the end of the day, industry leading the king of all photo editing software. Uh, it's going to be pretty amazing. And that's why personally, I would definitely encourage you if you have the money, if you have uh, the means to do it, go and learn these pieces of software. They're going to be incredible for you. But if you're someone who wants to do it on a budget, and maybe you want something that is completely free you know you can look at something like uh, photoscape x and you could say hey i might be limited in these different spots where i could um i might have sliders that might not be as professional or maybe there's some tools in here that aren't as good but you say hey maybe this interface is easier for you maybe it's something that where you're able to pick it up and learn it faster it all kind of depends on what you're wanting to do um but I hope that this was a good example of the different sliders in there to show, hey, what would actually need to occur to get you to a place where, hey, you've got an image, you need to make some little adjustments or things, um, you know, stuff like if you start with just this image itself and you just go in and hit magic color uh, versus going into like Lightroom and you go up and you just say, oh, yeah, I want to go back to the original version and you just want to say oh i want to auto that it's going to do similar things but it's going to be different based on how you do it so um the software is they have their own ways of doing things and some people would say hey that's better or some people would say oh that's not as good uh, but you guys i would definitely encourage you guys to uh, let, uh continue asking those different questions down in the comments of what might work better what uh kind of uh tools or different comparisons you'd want to see in the future but I'm definitely down to making more tutorials on Lightroom if that's something that you guys are interested in. But nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. How do I get out of here?